Okay, let's talk about your grid. So I'm making this video because I've gotten this question from students before, and I know it's something that can bother Pro Tools users, especially beginning Pro Tools users. And that's the idea of, hey, you know, I understand how slip mode works. I understand how grid mode works. Um, I'm in grid mode and I don't see my grid. Why, you know, why is that? It's jumping to the grid, but I don't see the grid. And that can be really, really, really frustrating. So the answer is that it's just not displaying, right? And if you want it to display, you can go up here on this toolbar. So this is your edit window toolbar and you can click grid. So just click that and it comes right back. And there you go. Now you can visually see it, which is really nice to be able to actually see it instead of just know that it's there, right? So I guess that's that. It's a bit of a shorty video, but I know it's an issue that affects a lot of people that people have asked me about before. So I wanted to put it in here. And I guess just to add to that, you know, you can really easily change the grid value up here in the same area. So you can click anywhere from like this note over to this triangle. I usually click on the triangle. I don't know why, but you can click anywhere in here and it a lot opens up this drop down and then allows you to change the grid value. So um, you can really easily change it to different values. So if you just want to see one bar, you can just see one bar, see how it gets simpler, right? Because a bar is a bigger unit than, for example, an eighth note. Now you have more lines in there in the same amount of time showing you the eighth notes instead of a, you know, a whole measure, a whole bar. You can also change it over to dotted or triplet. I'll use this a lot for like triplets. If I want to introduce triplets in a beat, for example, I'll switch it over to triplet uh, grid mode just temporarily. And then I can easily drop my notes onto those triplet lines. And then you just have to uncheck this when you want to go back to normal. Um, so that can really easily help you get exact triplets into your beat if you want that. So for example, you know, what am I in right now? I am in eighth notes. So if I switch this, so you can see here's my, here are my grid lines, right? There's a line, there's a line, there's a line. Hopefully you can see that in the screen capture. And when I add triplet, it changes those. So see where my cursor is? There was a line there. Now they're triplets. So triplet, triplet, so on, right? So um, when I'm done and I've placed my notes onto those triplet lines, I uncheck it to go back to normal. And you know, you can see where those downbeats hit. So you see this line here. If you watch my switch into triplet mode, this one should stay there. So now it's triplet, right? And then the next tri. So um, you can really see where those downbeats are when you switch back and forth. The other thing that we covered in a previous video, right, is the nudge value. So I'll kind of change this depending on what I'm doing, but you can use um, period and then comma on your keyboard to nudge forwards or backwards. And this is just where you pick the unit of time that uh, you want that to be. So a lot of times I'll move things by a few milliseconds. So this is kind of where it usually is living when I'm working on a beat or um you know, working on some music, but it does depend on what I'm doing. I do change this fairly often depending on what I want to do. And I went over this in a previous video, so I'll link to that in the description below. It was one of my tips in, I believe it was my last video on beat making tips. I kind of mentioned this idea and showed it a little bit more. But yeah, I guess that's it. So, you know, in summary, if you're not seeing the grid, you just click this button here. And, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut for it. I think it's like F4, but my OS overrides it right now. So I'm not really sure. But um, if you use the shortcut for this, let me know in the comments below what it is. I believe it's F4, so try that if you want a shortcut for it. Um, I usually just have my grid lines displaying though, to be honest, so you know, if I accidentally get out of this, I click on it to bring it back in, and then it's no problem. So I guess that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. We have a Discord server we're hanging out on. We got a book club on there that's all about audio engineering and music production. We've been having a lot of fun nerding out on the Discord server. So check that out if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for hanging out. Okay. Okay. I'm done.